parents are following the mass debate pretty closely as children head back to class. 17 districts in our viewing area are starting school today. One of those districts was Northeast ISD and Sarah Costa spoke with parents at Cerna Elementary as they dropped off their kids for the first day and how they felt about the mask mandate debacle. It's real scary. It's, it's scary, scary. Emily Cruz has a kindergartner and first grader starting in person today at NEISD's Cerna Elementary School. She says she wishes that the mask mandate was still in place because it gave her a peace of mind while her children attended school last year. I'm kind of iffy about it because I know it's going to be more students because I know this year is no virtual at all. So, you know, it's kind of scary. Destiny Pearson kept her daughter Emily at home for her entire first year of elementary school. So today, Emily is stepping into Cerna Elementary School for the first time to start first grade. And mom Destiny is nervous about masks not being mandatory. It's a little bit overwhelming, a little bit. Um, I think that we're ready for her to go back, but it's just like, is she going to keep her mask on? Is she going to do the things that she needs to do? It's why Destiny has been working with her daughter for a full year, having her practice wearing her mask for a long period of time. And we even put a back, uh, an extra one in her backpack. So she has a backup back here, and then she has the one on her face. NEISD superintendent putting out a message yesterday saying they are strongly encouraging all students and staff to wear masks on district campuses. Principal of Cerna Elementary Jennifer Lomas says she believes students at the school are safe with the majority of them choosing to wear a mask. We're absolutely going to encourage mask wearing. We're going to model it, but we just at the end of the day want the stronger message to be. We're excited you're here. We want you to have a good first day. And just an example in a classroom, we're in a second grade classroom of 16 students. All of them are wearing masks. I'm Sarah Acosta, KSAT 12 News.